artificial fabrics. Here, the lady at the canteen makes the best samosas in town. No doubt. Thank you, anyway. Not at all. As I said before, artificial fibers are grouped into regenerated and synthetic fibers. I will start with the regenerated ones. I am ready. Better be. More technical terms coming your way. Regenerated fibers are manufactured from natural cellulose, which are chemically treated. The cellulose comes from various sources. Rayon from tree wood fiber, model from beech trees, bamboo fiber from bamboo, and so on. Examples of regenerated fiber are viscose and estate rayon. Mm -hmm. Viscous rayon is a product of cellulose obtained from wood pulp, which is treated chemically in aqueous sodium hydroxide and carbon disulfide. Viscous rayon can be produced from a variety of plants, including soy, bamboo, and sugarcane. Anyway, should you need more information on the process of making viscous rayon, you know where to look. Wikipedia and the Kenya National Library. Moving on, viscous rayon has properties similar to those of cotton since it is structurally similar to cotton fiber. For example, it is absorbent, creases readily, catches fire easily, and develops mild dew when damp. In addition, viscous rayon turns yellow when exposed to sunlight for long periods and is weaker when wet than when dry as well. Then in that case, the users should include making underwears, shirts, mm -hmm. lining, yep. table linen, and uh, household furnishings, I guess. Wow! I am the best lecturer. And I learn fast. Then you must know the examples. Damask, satin, and velvet. Great. Acetate rayon is a product of cellulose obtained from cotton plant, which is then treated chemically to make acetate rayon. So viscous comes from bamboo, while acetate comes from cotton plant. Definitely. Other differences can be acetate rayon is less absorbent than viscous, thus dries easily. It develops and holds static electricity, can be treated to repel water, and softer to handle than viscous rayon. Plus, it is resistant to shrinking, creases, and stretching. It is thermoplastic too. Thermoplastic. It does not withstand high heat, thus can be permanently pleated using heat. Any similarities with viscous? It has good luster, meaning it is bright and shiny, drapes well, weaker when wet than when dry, and is easily damaged by chlorine, bleaches, and stone solvent. Then what would be its uses? It is used to make dress materials, linings, underwears, soft furnishings, scarves, and carpets. And examples of acetate rayon include crepe, linen, taffeta, velvet, gabardine, jersey, satin, and damask. Hmm. It seems regenerated fibers have their origin in plants. Does that mean synthetic fibers have their origin in animals? Not exactly. Synthetic fibers are made from raw materials obtained from petroleum products and natural gases. Common examples include nylon, polyester, acrylics, and elastofibers. I only know nylon drops, not nylon clothes. Nylon has many uses, but first let's understand its properties. Nylon is very strong, smooth, resistant to moth and mildew, and does not shrink. It is also thermoplastic. Hmm. I guess it is flammable because it comes from petroleum products. 
Correct. Plus, nylon sheds off creases because of its great elasticity and resistance. It does not conduct heat or absorb moisture. It produces static electricity. It is resistant to abrasives and it is versatile. Vaseline? Nope. Versatile. This means nylon fabrics can be produced in a variety of textures, thickness, and finishes for various uses. Such as making mosquito nets. As I said, nylon fabrics has various uses. For example, it is used to make stockings, dress fabrics, furnishings, lingerie, and outerwear. It can also be used to make raincoats, swimming suits, and windbreakers. Some examples of nylon fabrics include satin, jersey, seersucker, please, net, encalon, and selon. Is polyester similar to nylon in any way? In many ways, actually. It is very strong, resistant to abrasion, heat, sunlight, dilute acids, microorganisms, and solvents. It is also non-absorbent, resistant to shrinking, creasing, and stretching. Any advantages it has over nylon? Good question. It can be blended with other fabrics and crimped to produce the desired texture. It can be either bright or dull, depending on the desired effect during production. Stains and dirt are easily removed, plus it has high affinity for dyes. But same uses as nylon. Somehow. For example, it is used to make dress fabrics, suiting materials, and household furnishings. Some of the polyester fabrics include jersey, terrilin, lawn, polyester blends, and trevira. Are we good? Yes, boss. Another synthetic fibers I would like to discuss is acrylics. This is an artificial fiber made from a colorless liquid called acrylonitrile. Acrylonitrile is a compound made from coal, petroleum, limestone, air, and natural gases. Wow! All these substances must make it a better fiber than the rest. I guess. That depends. Acrylics is more like wool. For example, it is warm, soft, and luxurious to handle, does not shrink, and is light in weight. It is also resistant to abrasion, soiling, creasing, shrinking, stretching, and attacks from moths and mildew. Mm -hmm. Acrylics is also a poor absorber of heat, can be blended with other fabrics to add desirable qualities, and has a high affinity for dye stuffs. And since it is warm like coal, mm -hmm. it is suitable for making warm clothing like sweaters, blankets, and coats. Good guess, Jim. It is also good for making household furnishings such as carpets and rugs. Examples of acrylics include acrylan, olon, cotel, tweed, and dralon. <sighs> when are we breaking for lunch anyway? Almost done. If you behave well, I'll definitely give you a treat. That's fair enough. Elastofibers. These are elastic rubber-like substances which can be prepared in various forms. For our discussion, we shall narrow down to those used to make textile products. So, elastofibers get its name from the fact that it is elastic. Correct. Elastofibers have excellent elasticity and recovery. It is also not absorbent, non-resistant to heat, and concentrated acids and alkalis. However, it has a good resistance to perspiration, body oils, and abrasions. Cool to wear and allows the skin to breathe. Plus, it is strong 
durable and generate static electricity. Hmm. I think I would like to have clothes made from elastofibers. I won't have to wash them since they are resistant to sweat and body oils. That's very foolish of you. <laughs> anyway, elastofibers are suitable for making corsets, bras, bikers, swimsuits, raincoats, and support hosiery, and some of the examples include lycra and spandex. One last question. Uh huh. How do you tell one fabric from the other? I guess I'm not the only one with such a problem. I agree with you totally. Why don't we grab something to eat and discuss that in the process? Sawa sawa.